I know you guys have been very curious as to why I go to Mexico so often and I am going to tell you today. <laughs> I have never recorded my day like before I actually get there so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna bring you guys along throughout my usual routine before I head over to Rocky Point so right now I'm gonna drop off the kids at school and then I'm gonna head to the gym then come back home get all my stuff and start heading over to Mexico so yeah We'll be in Mexico today, and yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along the drive there. All right, guys, we made it to the gym. I will see you in 2.5 seconds. And I'm back. So I'm gonna get a shake at one stop, and then head back home, start loading up the car with all my stuff. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I do. I can't believe I've never actually brought you guys throughout my day because I always leave either on a Wednesday, midday, or a Thursday. So today is actually Thursday. I wasn't able to go yesterday. Um, my mom is actually over there already. She left yesterday, Wednesday. Um, so yeah. All right, let's go get a shake. All right, I stopped that Jack in the Box to get him some thing to eat really quick. And my grandma's gonna tag along with us today again. So I gotta go pick her up. It's already 9.30. I gotta speed it up. Oh, I didn't tell you guys what I get. So I get a low carb post workout with almond milk, chocolate protein, and a little bit of peanut butter so good load up and let's go hey guys i'm gonna start loading up the car because it's already 11 11. i know you guys have been very curious as to why i go to mexico so often and i am going to tell you today so this is why i go to mexico so often i actually have hold on my mom and myself have a little segunda like a little thrift store well kind of because a lot of things most of the things are new we have a little store over there that we go every month to to sell um but yeah we've been doing that for years years so many years um and all these things are things that people from over there ask me to go and find for them here like at ross tj maxx uh burlington and so on so that is what this is this is all things i'm gonna go take to them over there and yeah um i'll tell you guys a little bit more about that when i'm actually over there so i can show you but anyway i'm gonna load all this up in the car and yeah because we gotta go we gotta go And a lot of the things my mom my mom actually took yesterday with her, so I don't have a lot to load up. So that's good news for me. Hurry up, it's eight. Sorry, eight. It's already eight. Uh, it's already twelve. It's already twelve. Okay, these are bags. We got the drone. More electronics. Okay. Cardboard. 
the pocket three. I'm going to put this in the front. I'm going to start recording with this one. Ah, it's so pretty. Now let's go. We gotta go get the kids and drive to my grandma's. She's like 30 minutes away, but she is on the way to Froggy Point, so works out perfect. I'm a little behind on time. It's 12:30. I should have left 30 minutes ago. But here we are. Alright. Let's go. Alright, we finally. It's okay. All right, we finally made it to my grandma's. We are gonna go use the restroom really quick and really start heading over. I stopped at Chick fil A to get the kids something to eat and myself because I have not ate other than the protein shake. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the road. Quick stop at Dutch for coffee because I'm falling asleep. We're in Maricopa. So we got about three hours to go. I don't know what's going on. We're stopped in traffic. We just passed Filaben, going towards Ajo. We're at a complete stop. There's construction going on. I don't know what it is. We stopped at Y. We yeah, used the restroom. Uh -oh. Use the restroom. We'll, we are almost there. We'll be there around 6 30. So, almost there. What time is it? It's like 5. have to come back to the apartment because there's a couple things that I have that don't have labels and in order for me to drive around town um, today so my mom can have everything ready to go when people pick their stuff up I need to put labels on everything and the remaining balance so that is what I'm gonna do go get some coffee come back because I have a lot of appointments going on today but that will be on our next vlog but today I will just do that show you guys the apartment not the apartment I'll show you guys like our little segunda and call it a day with this vlog so yeah let me go get my coffee and I'll be right back it is so foggy. You can literally see it. nothing. Nothing. That's crazy. All right, you guys. So, this is the apartment. This is what we come and do. My mom is usually the one that stays here. And we sell pretty much all day. Mm, this is what we have I've been putting tags on all these things these are the things I showed you guys earlier back at home and yeah that's pretty much what we do and why we come here so often 
every once a month we come and sell for two days close the apartment and head back home and do it all over again the next month so yeah that is why we come so often and we've been doing this for ever since i lived here back in like 2013 14 yeah so it's been forever so right now i'm just finishing off um putting prices on some things and yeah All right, guys, it's Saturday and we are heading back home today. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I can't believe I actually told you guys why I come so often here. Because I know that was a question that so many people had all the time. All the time. So, yeah, I will be posting two videos after this one of Rocky Point. So, yeah. Stay tuned for those and thank you guys for watching. Bye!